grade 11s, listen carefully. That is what you should not do. When you walk into a class, or you walk onto a stage, or you walk into a meeting room to present a speech. Now to present a speech publicly is one of the most feared occasions or situations people will find themselves in. But if you like really apply what we are going to teach you today, then I guarantee you success every time. Basic um, things that you can apply, like what I just did, is like thinking while you're taking a breath, adapt and don't get stressed because you're blank and you don't know what to say just like everybody has been there before so you just act normal another thing is speak with a lower register voice if you speak with a voice like that people are going to switch off and they're not going to pay attention to what you're saying because it's an annoying sound and I'd rather listen to a soothing voice it's gentle and maybe like make them fall asleep rather than even like a voice like that um, Always have a balanced and up upright posture. Stand with your legs slightly apart. Don't ever like switch your body weight from one leg to the other leg, but rather stand up straight. Look the people in the eye. <laughs> Make eye contact with your audience. Because when you like look over their heads, you know that, that, that you're very then they will know that you're very scared. If you look at them in the eye, even if you're not like physically looking at everybody's eyes, but make eye contact and make them feel wanted, make them feel, I feel special because this person actually took the time to prepare the speech for me. Um, you will have guaranteed success if you follow the basic, very basic layout of a speech. Have an introduction that blow people away. Even if you start chewing bubble gum and just blowing a bubble and waiting until everybody's completely silent in the audience, pop the bubble in your mouth or just do something that will capture them because in that first few seconds you will grab your audience attention. Thereafter you introduce your topic, you give three reasons why you believe in this topic so strongly, back your three reasons up with, with um, credible resources and in your conclusion it's very good to recap what you just said and end with another bang. And your bang at the end can like link up with your bang that you started with in the beginning. It is more than okay and acceptable to use cue cards. And this is a very acceptable size for your cue card. Um, it shouldn't cover your face. And you shouldn't read it down. It's there as a reference. It's a backup as a, oh my gosh, what am I saying next? Just like glance down. Don't break the eye contact with your audience. I think something that's very important to remember is that people will not necessarily remember what you told them, but they will remember how you made them feel. So make them feel special.